Thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair and clicking on this video. Hi everyone, I'm glad that you came back to visit the video uh, channel and if this is your first time, welcome. People do ask me quite often, how is it that you can be in Second Life and not spend many Lindens? How are you doing it? You don't have a bento avatar, you don't have a mesh head, you don't have a, a mesh body. How are you doing it? I don't think it's that hard, actually. I have a freebie avatar. I pay attention to group gifts um, that are offering, you know, good things that are good quality. Um, I also still wear some of the older mesh items. Um, what my avatar has on now is an older mesh item. It's from a store called um, Legend legendaire I think it is called um, but anyway um, they often have uh, their older mesh items on a discount um, but usually I go um, I go to um, blogs just to see what they're promoting particularly the blogs that are promoting um, freebies and I look at all of the group gifts I um, collect a lot of things that way um, I also um, watch um, videos from all of you um, covering these different retail events that have also free gifts um, and so I go to a lot of the monthly retail events as well um, and then um, I also go into the marketplace I, I dumpster dive at the marketplace or I don't know what you call it thrifting yes um, away from the keyboard it would be called thrifting so I that go thrifting um, in the marketplace looking for dollar bees looking for promos things like that I used to do a lot of midnight mania and I belong to several groups and they announce different prizes that are on different boards and I used to belong to those groups and read what's going on and go and slap boards um, and same thing with lucky chairs I used to join some lucky chair groups if you want to do that and you have the time join uh, the uh, midnight mania board groups join the lucky chair groups they're always announcing what the prizes are um, and things like that and if you're in Second Life pretty often you can you know TP to different places and and pick up prizes that way as well um, so you don't just have to rely on group gifts and you know thrifting in the marketplace and the monthly retail events that have free gifts um, and also hunts that's another way where you can also um, get a lot of good quality items that are also free I do have a mesh head I got it from um, it, it's an AK deluxe bento head and it was given away as a promotion and I saved it I've had it for several months um, and I'll probably change over to it once I find a skin that I really really like and there aren't that many um, brown skins for AK Deluxe. So comment below if you know of some stores specifically that have a wide selection. I went to a store called Lorenzo and um, there wasn't a big selection for AK um, Deluxe Besh Heads. I know lots of people will say, well, if you don't have a mesh head, if you don't have a bento avatar, your avatar looks crazy. But honestly, you know, I think it's just personal opinion. Um, I don't think that my avatar looks crazy. It's totally possible if you're, you know, wanting to come into Second Life and you don't want to spend a lot of money, come on in anyway. Join Second Life, get a free account, come on in do not pay attention to videos um, that tell you that it's just so hard to find an outfit if you're not spending a certain amount of money it just isn't true because there's just so many group gifts out there there's always retail events going on that are giving away free gifts the marketplace has a lot of free things in it as well um, you know you just have to dig to find those things so come on and join Second Life anyway um, if you're thinking that it's you have to join and then spend $30 to get your avatar together it's just not true now as far as housing in Second Life if you are coming into Second Life um, I did not have an apartment 
right away, but I did find a sim that offered free apartments to um, noobs, and so I was in one of those apartments for a while, um, and then eventually I got um, a house, and then I got a skybox, and now I'm still in a skybox. I like being up in the sky. I think you get less people wandering around uh, when you're in the sky. And then also, I only use my skybox for unwrapping things, unboxing, and holding my events. I have a news event that I host. I have a TED Talks um, discussion event that I host. I also host the confession session for people who like to overshare. I also host the book of questions. That's another um, event where people are just talking provocatively from, from the book of questions that I pull out. And I also host um, Back in Time. So um, Back in Time is a deck of cards and it just has things that you talk about. So it just helps people to connect. Some people do come to Second Life to connect not for hookup, not for porn, not even to spend a lot of money. They come to connect. And I'm your girl if that's what you're in Second Life for because I certainly like to host events to get people talking honestly. If you're thinking about joining Second Life, as I said, please come into the virtual space anyway. Do not worry about the cost factor. There are people who have spent a lot of money on their avatar, maybe 30 US dollars to 50 US dollars on their avatar just to get it started in the very beginning. And they are still not satisfied. They're still tweaking it all the time. So, I mean, I just want people not to feel pressure into thinking that you have to spend to be part of this world. You don't. If you are a male avatar in Second Life, I have two videos where I went thrifting in the Second Life marketplace. So, um, check those videos out. I had a lot of different items that I found and the prices are great. A lot of items were free and they look good. So, thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair. I hope that you will come back and watch more videos. And I hope that if you haven't already registered for a Second Life account and you happen to be an older adult, that you'll be motivated to just try it out. Um, come into um, Second Life and I think you'll enjoy it. And you'll be able to find really nice things for your avatar. You just have to do a little running around on the grid, that's all.